こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. Hey Jamie, you know I'm always stumbling over the names of certain animals in English. Some are quite tricky to remember. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. 
English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. I understand, Alex. English names for animals can sometimes be confusing and hard to remember. Which ones do you find most difficult? For starters, the word squirrel is a tongue twister for me. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, Squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, Squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone, many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel.
Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone. Many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone. Many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. You're not alone. Many non-native speakers find squirrel challenging. It helps to break it down, squirrel. Practice saying it slowly, then speed up as you get comfortable. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. 
You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Another one is hippopotamus. It's so long and doesn't sound like its counterpart in my native language. That's a mouthful for sure. You can remember it as hippopotamus, and actually, people often just say hippo for short. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better.
Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Oh, hippo is much easier. What about penguin? I sometimes forget this one. Penguins are those adorable, flightless birds that live in colder regions. You might associate them with their waddling walk or their black and white coloring to remember the name better. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. 
Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Right, associating images with names might help. Chameleon is another challenging one. Chameleons are fascinating creatures, known for changing colors. For pronunciation, think of it as chameleon. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. 
saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. Got it. Armadillo is also a strange word. True, armadillos are mammals with a leathery armor shell. Saying the armadillo might make it easier to remember. Visualizing their unique armor can also help recall the name. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, 
is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. These tips are helpful. Any advice for remembering rhinoceros? Rhinoceros, often shortened to rhino, is a large mammal with thick skin and one or two horns on their snout. Breaking it into syllables like rhinoceros can simplify the pronunciation. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names. Thanks, Jamie. Breaking words into syllables and visualizing the animals will definitely aid in remembering these names.
Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. Absolutely, Alex. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to ask whenever you come across difficult names. I'm here to help. それじゃあ。またね。